Hey there, it's Isaac from Powered by Rock here to bring Sam and John from Kalimasi into the spotlight for a few minutes and make them sweat with some on-the-spot questions. So, guys, are you ready to be put in the spotlight? Yes, Isaac. All yes, right. Isaac. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start with you, John. Um, All right. What are your top three favorite bands of all time? Uh, Modest Mouse, Neil Young, and Crazy Neil Young, and Against Me. Okay, yeah, I kind of knew. I knew about the Modest Mouse. I knew about Against Me. The uh, the the other ones, yeah. I mean, you I, for me, there's so many freaking bands out there. But the fact that you can just name them like that, it's pretty impressive. Sam, do you have anything that you'd like to add to your top three? Uh, Kali Masi, The Howl, Against Me. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right, Sam. Let's 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 get a little less uh, surface level here. What's a motto or quote that you can point to as a favorite piece of advice or something you often try to keep in mind? Um, my stepdad says a lot. Life is options, and I think about that a lot recently because I'm about to get a dog, and I'm really really excited about it. Um, but it's also like. Y- you know when you're a kid and there's like a fountain and you plug one of the fountain holes and the other ones get bigger? Yeah. And then you plug, you know, it's like you can only, it's the, it's going to be the same amount of energy, like just going to different things. So you can't like, you can't have it all basically. And yeah. I just think about that every time I'm like, when I'm making a move and I'm like, oh, I'm excited to get this. It's like, what am I, you know, what do you give up to get the other thing? Um, just think about that balance a lot. Yeah. We've definitely had to find house sitters or dog sitters for our dogs when we would travel. And now we just had a kid last year. Um, he's about to turn one, and it's like, damn it, we can't do whatever we want whenever we want anymore. This sucks. But you got this <laughs> lovely animal and this lovely kid animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <well. laughs> oh, God. No, nah, he's awesome, but it's like, yeah, it's like, man, you need to be a little older already so we can go do cool shit now. <laughs> yeah. Big John, you got any man. models or quotes that you live by? Um, God, if you gave me this question like earlier and gave me a, some time to think, absolutely, because I think I do. It's called in the uh, spotlight, John. Come yeah, uh, I guess you're right. That is part of it. Um, <laughs> okay, you know, it's so cliche, but you know that one Bukowski one that's just don't try. It's on like his grave and stuff. Yeah. I like that one in the sense, I kind of read it as just like uh, kind of being yourself and not like fighting what comes naturally for you too much yeah and not like overthinking that's how that's how i read that quote that quote that That makes sense yeah Yeah. so don't try to fit in don't try to be something you're not just let yourself be itself yeah and uh and it's it's not like i like how it comes off as like don't try like don't follow your dreams it's just like your dreams are kind of you don't really have to try to uh follow your dreams you just kind of it kind of you just do them <laughs> it's like a mix between yoda too so it's like don't try just do or whatever he says there is no try only do or something like that oh my is yoda ripping off charles Bukowski? Wow. whoever oh. says it all right it's yoda to me <laughs> john before every set john turns to me usually and says if you live by the sword you die by the sword motherfucker and then it's, it's really jarring. He's like, usually. one, two, three, four, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> but like, Holy then, shit. Come on. And then Sam plays the perfect set. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, Sam, I'll go back to you. This one about just lyrics real quickly. Your lyrics may imply that you hold grudges for past relationships. But do you feel it as a grudge or just the idea of coming to terms with a bad ending? I think grudges are natural. I was thinking about this today, actually. I was just like, you know what? They say living well is the best revenge, but I still kind of fucking want revenge. <laughs> Sometimes I think that's fine, you know. I think I'm a hater at heart, and you know that's just that's just the way I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna try, like John was saying, I'm not gonna try not to be a hater. And so, yeah, yeah um, I think it's okay to hold a grudge, but also think about um, why are you holding that grudge? Are you hold, is it are, is you holding that grudge keeping you more captive than the other person? I think that that's what I run into a lot. Is that like me staying angry is actually handicapping myself? more than you know it would in- inflict any you know if i get revenge i'm not going to feel better yeah well it's just, if we're going to do what you were saying earlier about like cutting things in half i'll cut that thing i just said in half and just say i'm not going to feel better <laughs> I'll, or i'm not yeah, there you go <laughs> no <laughs> all right john uh 
what in 2022, the coming year, what would you wish for the world to accomplish? Um, oh, man, I am like Miss America right now. <laughs> uh, just getting rid like of put these in there, just so that way you can clearly see like what's going to stump people. Yeah, um, figuring out COVID, yeah. uh, world healthcare. Um, yep, that's yeah. it. World, world peace, baby. That's great. <laughs> world peace and world yeah. health. And then you can get back on the road and, and tear some shit up. Yeah, I guess I'm selfish at heart. I want to I want to play safe tours and, yeah. and go on tour and not have to stress out about mm-hmm. canceling it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give you a, a little bit of a more tricky one, Sam, since you kind of got a couple of, I wouldn't say easy ones, but kind of ones that kind of fit more in your wheelhouse. Um, <clears throat> what's your all-time favorite car? Uh, SS Cutlass. Interesting. Okay. John, what's that? that? What's an SS Cutlass? It's like a hot rod. I like okay. those old muscle cars. Yeah. I also love like a fucking like Volvo though. Yeah. You know, <laughs> or like a like a wagon. There's a oh, what is it? A Grand Wagoneer. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The car that Skyler drives in Breaking Bad. That's a beauty. I love that one. I've never <laughs> heard Sam talk this much about cars. I didn't didn't See? even know he knew like the the models that's why i threw something out there that wasn't in the wheelhouse do, do you have a favorite car john uh golf cart <laughs> <laughs> it's got four wheels no. it's not that dangerous i used to like it used to not make sense to me that like dads and stuff would like turn 55 and or whatever have a midlife crisis and then go get like a mustang i would i totally want a cool car someday i think I think I, I think it hit me. I think I'm becoming older, and I'm like, oh yeah, that'd be fucking sick. Do you actually golf, or you just want to put a beer cooler in it and just drive it around? Oh, I'm talking about Mustangs now. Uh, <laughs> oh, I would, same I would question. Take a golf cart. Yeah, in my garage, I have a golf cart, and then I am coming to terms with the fact that I would take like uh, I don't even know the difference between like uh, uh, Mercedes Benz, uh, but uh, I think. The ones where you can the roof comes down, convertible, the rag tops, yeah, yeah, and then you can drive down the 101 in California, and yeah, I romanticize that a little bit. I'm down. Well, in a Ford Mustang, you'll only make it about halfway down the uh, Pacific Highway, and then it'll break down. But yeah, uh, <laughs> that's the difference between most muscle cars. Is some of them will actually make the trip, other ones won't. Word. Okay. I'll have, <laughs> I see. I have a lot of research to do if I'm going to actually make this purchase someday. <laughs> Awesome. Guys, I want to thank you for being in the spotlight and answering these hot seat questions. Make sure to go to show notes below this episode for links to the music and watch our full podcast interview as well. Until next time, rock on.